Congressman Joseph Gao, Republican of Louisiana, is joining us right now. He's the only Republican who voted with all the Democrats, uh, all those Democrats in the House, in favor of health care reform. Uh, you still uh, support that vote? You have some second thoughts, Congressman? Uh, hi, Wolf. Uh, I have uh, conveyed to the uh, to uh, the White House that uh, at this point I cannot support. Uh, the agenda's being pushed because of the federal funds for abortion. That was one of my biggest issues uh, in, the in the original House bill and once the uh, Stupak Piss Amendment was passed in the House to uh, restrict uh, federal fun funds for abortion, I was able to support the House bill. But the same language is not uh, in the, uh, the, the agenda that's being pushed by the President. And unless uh, the abortion language uh, changes, uh, I cannot support uh, the, uh, the program. Do you believe there's any room for a, a compromise agreement between the Democrats and the Republicans, or is it too late for that, Congressman? Uh, are you talking about the overall bill or just on the abortion language? No, no, no. I've, on the abortion language, I understand your principal decision. Uh, you liked the way the House compromised on, on abortion, uh, the language that was included in the House legislation. It was changed in the Senate, and you say if they include that Senate language, you can't go along. But generally speaking, put on your observer hat as an analysis. Can there be a compromise, an agreement uh, between Democrats and Republicans in the House on health care reform? Uh, just from uh, an objective uh, uh, standpoint, uh, it's, it's going to be extremely difficult because uh, the differences between uh, the two parties uh, are so vast. Uh, but I'm still very hopeful and I'm still, uh, I hope that at the end of the day that we can come up with a reform package. But the gap uh, between the two parties are just too vast uh, for us to, uh, to bridge.